Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I'm going to share with you three slow cooker dishes that are sure to please a crowd. Let's get to it. The first dish is honey glazed carrots. The first thing that we are going to do is I'm going to take a half a stick of that butter and I'm going to melt it on the stove top. Now I am taking this two pound bag of carrots and adding it to the slow cooker. I'm going to take some of these carrots and cut these ends off. All right, this butter is almost all the way melted. So I'm just going to add this in to the slow cooker. Now I have this slow cooker on high. I'm going to keep it on high for three to four hours or you can keep it on low for six to eight hours. So I'm going to put it on high and I'll check back in with you in three hours. All right, it's been three hours. All right, let me just... I don't really want to mess with them too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pinch of salt. A quarter cup of honey. A teaspoon of cinnamon. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Woo -wee! That vanilla extract from Azure Standard is absolutely amazing. All right, I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to put it on warm and I'm going to let that set until it's ready to serve. The second dish is some sweet chili Lil Smokies. In my slow cooker right here, I'm going to add two 14 ounce packages of Little Smokies. I stock up on these when they're on sale. So I think I got these two for $3. And then I just toss them in the freezer until I'm ready to make them for a dish to pass. I'm also going to add a bottle of chili sauce. And about a full cup of grape jelly. I'll leave the exact measurements down below. But you know how I cook. I just cook by sight. Add a little bit more. I had a little bit too much jelly, so I took a little chunk out. And now, I'm just going to close this and put it on low and we'll check up on it in a few hours. All right, this has been going for three hours on low. I added a little bit too much of the liquid, but that's perfectly fine. Like I said, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the recipe in the description box down below. 
What I do to this is I unplug it, wrap it in a large towel or a small blanket, and then you can just toss it into your vehicle and bring this to any get together you have. But these are absolutely delicious. The final dish is a bacon cheese dip that works great in a slow cooker, but today I am going to make it in an oven safe dish. So over here I do have some bacon frying up and the oven is preheating to 375. All right, to this I'm going to take my block of cream cheese and add that in. I'm also going to take 16 ounces of sour cream and one cup of mayonnaise. Now that cream cheese was already softened, so I'm just gonna break it up a little bit more. I'm now going to add one cup of my two cups of cheese, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then I'm going to crumble up my pieces of bacon. I'm gonna save like a half of a slice to crumble on top. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, right here, I'm going to add in my two packets of Diablo hot sauce. My husband was making fun of me for using Diablo packets on camera, but you all know by now that I have an obsession with it and Taco Bell no longer makes it in the bottle form, so it's Taco Bell's fault, not mine. Alright, this is a little bit bigger of a dish than I need. So I'm going to take this smaller dish and I'm going to add this dip into that. To the top of this, I'm just going to add that cheese. And I'm going to pop this in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. I'll top the dip with some green onions, some fresh parsley, and some bacon bits. All right, I did put it on a baking tray because it was starting to get a little wild in there. Now, like I said, I'm gonna top it with some green onion, some parsley, and of course, some bacon bits. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna let this cool down. You can serve it warm. And I'll just serve it with some tortilla chips. And I also have a few different kinds of crackers to serve it with. You can also serve it with some veggies. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Oh, and stay tuned because I'm making delicious pumpkin cake in the next video, along with a couple other desserts. 
it's going to be a good one. Thanks for watching.